In this tutorial, I'm going to use the graphical method to solve the linear programming problem maximize set, which is equals 4x plus 6y, subject to 4x plus 3y less than or equals 12, 3x plus 4y less than or equals 12, x and y greater than or equals to 0. So, given that uh, linear programming problem, to solve it using the graphical method, I'll start by drawing my x and y axis then go on and look at uh, the constraints. So looking at the first constraint there, 4x plus 3y less than or equals 12, I will draw a line which corresponds uh, to that uh, constraint there. When x is equals to 0, we will def y is equals to 12 divided by 3, so we will def y is equals to 4. So I will mark that point which is called necessary 4 on the graph on the right there. And then move on to look at uh, when y is equals to 0. When y is 0, we have uh, x is equals to 12 divided by 3. So we'll def x is equals to a 3. And then I'll go in and mark the point which has coordinates 3, 0 on the graph there. I now join the two points that I've indicated with a line. So that's the line that corresponds to that constraint. I now move on to the second constraint, 3x plus 4y less than or equals to 12 and draw a line which corresponds to that constraint. When x is equals to 0, we have y is equals to 12 divided by 4. So we have y is equals to 3. On the graph there, I'll mark the point with coordinates 0, 3. So that's the point there. And then move on to when y equals to 0. When y is equals to 0, we have x is equals to 12 divided by 3, and it gives us a 4. I'll mark the point with the coordinates x, 4, y0 on the graph there. So that's the point there. And then join those two points with a line. So that's the line which corresponds to that highlighted uh, constraint. So I've now drawn the lines that corresponds to the constraints there. But we have the intersection of those uh, two lines. And I'll indicate that with a dot there. And uh, we need to find the coordinates of uh, on that point. And to find the coordinate of that point, we have to consider those uh, two constraints that I've highlighted. So we'll look at the equations which correspond to those constraints, and the equations are 4x plus 3y equals 12, 3x plus 4y equals 12. So to get that intersection of those uh, two lines, we solve those uh, two equations simultaneously, and uh, I obtain that x is equals to 12 divided by 7, and y is equals to 12 divided by 7. And the next step now is to shed the feasible region. And the feasible region is the region which satisfies all the constraints. So to get that region, what you can do is you can just pick up any point in any of those regions. The regions below the, the two lines, the region below one of the lines, the regions which is above those lines. So you just pick any point. In this case, I will pick the point 1, 1 and check if it satisfies those constraints. So the point 1, 1, it satisfies the non-negativity constraint x, y greater than or equal to 0. So for that one, it's okay. And it satisfies the constraint where we have 4x plus 3y less than or equal to 12. Because if you put 1, 1 there, we would have 4 plus 3, which is less than 12. And in the second constraint, we are having 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 12. If we substitute 1, 1 there, they would have uh, 3 plus 4, which gives us a 7, which is less than 12. So that region there, which is uh, above the x-axis, but uh, below those two lines there, that's the feasible region. So I'll shade this one, this is the one that I'm talking about. That's the feasible region. And I will then go on and uh, label the corner points of the feasible region. So I'll start by the first one, A there, and the B, and the point where the two lines intersect, I'll call it as C, and then the D. The next step now is to evaluate the objective function, Z is equal to 4x plus 6y, at the corner points of the feasible region. So we are evaluating Z at the points A, B, C, and D. So we have uh, at the point, then we would have our X, our Y, our Z. At the point A, we are having x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. And if we substitute x, 0, y, 0 in the objective function set, which is above there, we would have 0 plus 0, which will give us a 0. At the point B, we have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3. 
if we substitute x equals to 0, y equals to 3 into the objective function set equals to 4x plus 6y, we get that the set there is an 18. At point C, we are having x is equals to 12 over 7, y is equals to 12 over 7, and if we substitute uh, this x and y into the objective function set there, we get that the z is 120 divided by 7. At point D, we are having x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 0. If we substitute x equals to 3, y equals to 0 in the objective function set equals to 4x plus 6y, we get that our set is equals to 12. In this problem, we were maximizing. So what we do is we look for the largest set in that table and we see that the largest set there is an 18 which occurs when x equals to 0 and y equals to 3. So that will be our optimal solution. So what we are having is the optimal solution to the linear programming problem set is equals to 4x plus 6y subject to 4x plus 3y less than or equals to 12, 3x plus 4y less than or equals to 12, x and y greater than or equals to 0 is z is equals to 18 which occurs when x equals to 0 and y equals to 3. So that's uh, the optimal solution of uh, that given linear programming problem.